Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this new culinary inspired lean cuisine marketplace meal. This is the sweet and spicy Korean style beef. It's tender braised beef with brown rice and vegetables with a sweet and spicy Korean style sauce. Sounds delicious. Uh, it looks pretty good except for those little bean things. I don't know about those. Anyway, uh, it's 320 calories uh, for the entire meal. There's the other information for you. So for this one, microwave only. So we're going to cut a, cut the film, microwave high for three minutes, um, stir and recover, and then cook for one more minute. So it looks like there's not a ton of meat in there, but there's some. So I'm going to get this in the microwave. I'm just going to cut a slit in this to get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. All right, here's the meal out of the microwave, and I'm just now stirring it up. Ooh, steam. Steam. Uh, okay. I actually stirred everything up. I stirred sauce, meat, rice. That's the way I think it should be eaten. Whether it should be eaten that way or not, I don't know. But that's the way I'm going to eat it. Um, so, But I'm going to let this cool off because it is like scalding hot. Steam's coming off this everywhere. Um, probably cut up some of this meat too to where it's more than big hunks of meat. I'd rather have bite-sized pieces. And you don't get a ton of it anyway. So I'd rather have bite-sized pieces instead of these big hunks. So I'll be back once I get this cut up and it's cooled off. Okay, it's had time to cool off. Um, it's not too cool, but it's a little cool off. I got some meat, looks like carrots, uh, rice, uh, pepper, and it looks like a, a zucchini. Looks like zucchini. Um, I think that was it. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Um, anyway, here we go. Uh, the ten the meat is super super tender it's really really good um the rice the you know you i stirred this up at the um at the three minute mark and then um what i do is i just stick the spoon the fork in my mouth and clean it off so i can lay it on the table the rice felt a little hard then this rice is not hard at all i thought it was going to be but it's not it's good and tender rice um the flavor is pretty good i was expecting also to be spicy and it's not it's it's got a good like a sweet and sour flavor to it it's got a little bit of spice to it, but nothing. If you don't like spicy food, I don't think you'd have any problems with this. Um, it's not super full of flavor, but it's definitely flavorful, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it's good. The um, I guess what I mean by that is the flavor doesn't stick around. You know, like you eat it and it's like, that tastes pretty good and then it's gone. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't hang around at all. Um, like I said, really good sweet and sour flavor. You don't get a lot of pepper in this, so if you like peppers, um, make sure you can, like cut it up into smaller pieces and eat it because you only get, I got one little strip. That was it. I'm sure it's random, but I got one strip of pepper. Uh, plenty of peppers, I mean, plenty of carrots and plenty of zucchini, though. Not a ton of meat, but you get, you get probably five or six hunks, and you cut those in half, you get ten good-sized bites. So overall, it's pretty good. It's not something I would get all the time. I'm going to give it, a, again, I hate to do this. I hate to give three and a halfs all the time, but that's what I'm going to give this one. I'm going to give it a three and a half. It's something I would definitely eat again if I was in the mood for a, like a sweet and sour chickeny kind of thing. But, um, but I wouldn't go out and like buy it all the time. So anyway, hope that helps, and thanks for watching.